defining day center energy efficiency the challenge um, as i suggested earlier you know is the day center a building or a service um i would strongly argue that it's ultimately a service it's 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 a service providing and i know it's it's a word that was probably last used 20 years ago but we're hosting you know we're hosting it equipment we're hosting it services um pue presumes that it's the building but it's wrong it has to be wrong you know it is not a building a, a building again merely provides an overhead if, if you take all the it load out of the building the building doesn't consume any energy fairly simple and straightforward true energy efficiency from a purely physics perspective must be based on useful work done so you know what is the useful work that's being done and i go back to the analogy of the ton of steel if we actually know to a, a very sort of fraction of a cent, fraction of a pence cost of what it actually costs us to, to, to produce that ton of split steel, we can reduce that cost and we can reduce the energy associated, which of course, again, reduces cost. Um, we don't have that luxury in our industry. So we have to think of some way of, of producing a metric or probably more likely a series of metrics that allows us to actually accurately measure and report uh, energy efficiency. As I said earlier, we've just been think, you know, navel gazing so far at the building. We've got to move beyond it. Uh, and remember the analogy of the house and the shower. I think also there's a, again, as I suggested earlier, something of a smokescreen with relation to cloud. Um, we do consistently fail to measure the, the, the energy cost of IT services. Very, very difficult to do. Um, you know, for instance, is it more energy efficient to look at a, a, a video clip on your phone or on your large TV, you know, your large um, sort of, let's say, 55 inch or whatever screen, screen at home. Well, actually, when you think about it, it's actually far more energy efficient to, energy efficient to look at the, you know, the cat video, or whatever you're interested in on your phone or on the large um, screen back at your house. Um, may sound a little bit counterintuitive, but actually those sorts of things are important. And, and when we come to look at energy efficiency in the IT sector, there are lots of um, sort of conundrums out there and, and uh, things that are not immediately obvious or even counterintuitive. So again, let's, let's move away from the soft target, the building, and, and think about what's really consuming the energy efficiency. And, and cloud really actually makes this more difficult and, and possibly worse to uh, to pin down. And it certainly obscures the true energy cost. The suggestion that cloud's actually more energy efficient is probably not correct. I mean, you'll hear that all over the, all over the place. Um, is, you know, the cloud is, is reportedly more energy efficient. Well, I, I, you know, I don't really think it necessarily is. Um, and I certainly haven't seen any data that backs up the statement that it is. Um, it, it, if you think about the, uh, the fact that um, cloud relies on, on essentially geo redundancy or application level redundancy that requires, therefore, that you have to have sites and equipment sitting out there that are probably very lowly utilized, um, very, very low utilization rates, um, which suggests that they're obviously ready and waiting and consuming energy. Um, I, I don't think there's anybody out there that's, that's switching on a data center. Um, in order to replace one that's just gone dark. Um, it clearly doesn't work that way. So it's sitting there ready and waiting. And you'll hear about some large hyperscalers, cloud providers talking about the their ability to do away with generators. Well, yeah, absolutely. Um, relatively easy to do that if you don't mind a data center going away. Uh, if you don't mind that data center going dark, you, you, you know, you no longer need the generators. And certainly the hyperscalers, if, if you talk to many of them, are building tier one type data centers. They're not, they're not building a traditional tier three co-location type sites. They're building something very different because they can afford to lose sites potentially. And for that reason, yeah, do away with UPS and generators as well. However, it's not quite as simple as that. You're not merely eliminating that 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 greenhouse gas gas, gas emission. Um, you're just moving it somewhere else. You're moving it to another site, which is sitting there ready and waiting and still consuming resources, um, possibly consuming more resources than a generator would if it was switched on and you only had a single site. So again, the idea that that cloud is is better, more energy efficient, and better from a net zero, um, a, a carbon neutral or net zero perspective is, is not necessarily true. Um, and I don't think an awful lot of work has been done on that to prove the case either way. Um, one question I would ask is, are you given 
relevant energy usage stats and efficiency calculations by your cloud provider. Um, I, I don't know of any. Um, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys out there are, are seeing something different and have got a lot of detailed information about how your cloud provider consumes its energy and reports it back to you. But um, certainly, as far as I've, I've seen, there's not a lot of information out there that, that allows you to make informed decisions uh, about how your cloud provider is, is using energy and which cloud provider you maybe should be using to improve your, your own energy consumption levels and therefore you know, carbon emissions. Um, I, I think this situation is something that actually does need to be improved quite dramatically. Um, claims of improved energy efficiency, I think, do need to be substantiated. Uh, information needs to be more available. Um, if we're going to actually be allowed or able to make informed choices about energy consumption, energy efficiency, energy cost, energy overhead um, in terms of using the cloud. Uh, at the moment, it's, it's pretty obscure, to be honest, which is why I call it something of a smokescreen.